Oz Du Soleil here, and I am back from New York City where I was involved with a mastermind group. I was preparing 2017 so that I can bring you more tools for keeping your data clean and whooping crap data every chance we get. Let it be known that crap data and its misery are not welcome. His days are numbered. And today, I have another warning about getting transformed. And I'm doing this series of videos because Get and Transform is changing how a lot of us use Excel. Lots of things are so much easier in getting transformed. But there are things that getting transformed does in a very messy way. Things that are indeed easier in native Excel. But if we get stuck having to do some of these things inside getting transformed, it's like this scorpion. And I want to warn you about this. Before you go stick your hand under that getting transformed rock and get stung, I'm going to let you know how to deal with this stuff. Today, we're dealing with the issue of leading zeros. And what that means is, let's say that you have April, the month April, and you need it to show up as 04 and not just 4. Excel will clip off that zero. If you have zip codes, say a Massachusetts zip code, they start with zero. They will clip off that leading zero and leave you with four numbers which make no sense. In this example, we've got regions and IDs. And our goal is to put them together with a hyphen in between. But notice, this 12 really needs to be 012. In native Excel, this is easily done. So let me whoop this on you real fast. First, I am going to highlight this and turn this into a custom format. More number formats, custom, and I'm gonna put zero, zero, zero. Okay. Easy. Now recognize. We have the numbers formatted the way we want, 012, 009. Let's start a query. Data from table. It didn't respect our number formatting and bring in the three digits. We've got to do something else. I'm going to bring up a new workbook and we're going to do this for real in getting transformed. So move this out of the way. Bring this in. <sighs> All right. All right. This is what we got to do to get this data to act right. Here we go. Starting our query from table. Here's the data. I'm going to insert a custom column. Here we go, custom column. Let's call this three digits. Equals text dot pad start. Open parentheses. We want to convert ID and then comma three for the three digits comma zero as what we want put in front of any numbers that exist so that we get a full three characters close the parentheses okay we've got an error why because we can only do this to text. I'm gonna go up to source, insert a step, which is to convert this ID to text. 
insert the step go down to added column there we have the three digits or the three characters now we can put the region and the three digits together to get the code that we want custom column call this code equals region and in quotations the hyphen and three digits okay yeah there we go uh, we can go ahead and delete we can highlight that control 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 remove columns and I'm going to home close and load to existing worksheet and let's put it here there it is that's what we wanted now let's go further add some more data of course paste it in there we go now refresh our query right click here refresh mm, mm, mm. there it is that's how you would deal with leading zeros inside of a get and transform query this is how you keep your data clean and not get stung by a scorpion please subscribe to the channel let me know some other things that you would like to see let me know how you like this video i always appreciate your comments and your responses so yeah look forward to doing some more of this in 2017